Hey, this is Joe Fear from GetThriveCard.com. In this video, I wanna show you how you, there's a lot of powerful stuff you could do with Google Sheets and ThriveCart when they are combined. It's actually very simple to do. You could use it for a whole bunch of stuff like refunders, subscriptions, product fulfillment, or just having records of your affiliates or all these other transactions, pretty much whatever you wanna do. I wanna show you how to do that with ThriveCart. It's just based off of rules and automation. So it's super simple. Let's get into it. All right, so you're probably thinking, why do I even need to do Google Sheets? Well, there's probably a lot of different reasons, but mainly it's because it integrates perfectly. You can pretty much pass over any data you can think of inside a Thrivecart over to a Google Sheet. It's all based off of the rules, the behavioral rules built inside of Thrivecart. So you could do stuff on product purchases, you know, any type of uh, interaction there, cart abandonments, any subscriptions you might have. You can also do it with affiliate, uh, all the affiliates you do, the offers that you have out there, uh, upsells and downsells, all sorts of different things. And like I said, it's all built off of the automation. So I will show you how, you know, I'll show you how it's all done. Uh, but just so you're just kind of clear with it more here, you could see uh, just some examples, cart abandonments. Those are people, you know, leaving your cart. So if they were to leave your cart off a period of time and, you know, their emails in there, this gives you the opportunity to follow up with them. So based off of some rules, you can add them to the Google Sheet. You could also fire over emails and anything to get them back to actually make a purchase. Any refunders you might have, you can add those to a Google Sheet so you could follow up with them or at least have record of them. Uh, any kind of new recurring payments or canceled payments, subscriptions, you can have records of that and have you know all this data where essentially you know you might have to uh, dig through transaction logs and all that stuff. Sometimes it's very helpful to just have the sheets there so you can organize who your customers are and kind of all the stuff that's happening with them as well. Product fulfillment is actually a big one. So Matt and I, uh, my partner Matt Wolf and I, we used to run a physical newsletter, a monthly newsletter we sent out in the mail. And we actually relied solely on Google Sheets for that uh, time period with Thrivecart. So we were able to capture the, you know, all the address, the, the name and all that information we needed to do. We actually took that Google Sheet and sent that to our fulfillment house to print off the newsletters. And if it wasn't for this tie-in between Thrivecart and Google Sheets, it would have been a nightmare. It would have been a lot of us uh, probably hiring someone to do all the stuff for us or us to do it. Uh, but with this integration, you're actually able to easily pass that uh, all the customer data over to a Google Sheet. So you don't have to do anything other than share that Google Sheet uh, with a fulfillment house if you have physical products or use that for you know shipping labels and all this other stuff you can kind of automate uh, once you have that data. You could also do affiliate tracking. Like I was saying, uh, there's actually a lot of behavioral rules based around the affiliate center. So you could do a lot of that and actually add that data to uh, Google Sheets. So I'll show you some examples inside of Thrivecart and there's definitely a lot more. So. Let me dig into it. First, I'll show you how to integrate it and then I'll show you a couple examples of how to use it. So when you integrate Google Sheets, very simple, just settings, integrations right here. Go down to fulfillment services and it's gonna be right here, Google Sheets. And this little video will walk you through it. It's very simple. You essentially just click this little button on the bottom and you're gonna pretty much authorize yourself with Google to do this. So I'll just do this really fast hit allow, and it should kick us back to Thrivecart, and there we go. So that's the, that's the entire integration phase. Not that difficult. But let me show you how to actually set up some of these rules. So I'll use this shirt product as an example. I'm gonna go to the edit tab here, or the button, and go over to your behavior tab. This is where everything is going to happen. So we're gonna add a rule. And let's just say anytime someone purchases the main product, which is the actual product itself, the, cert, uh, the shirt. But in this specific product, we actually have different variations. So um, I could do it for any pricing option, which is a you know product variation in this case, or I can actually do this for specific shirts that I'm selling. I'm gonna do it for all the pricing options, so it's totally fine. 
but instead of active campaign, you're going to use Google Sheets. You could see it right here. So you would go there, and then what you want to do is add them to this spreadsheet. And what it's going to do is actually pull in uh, any existing spreadsheets I might have created uh, based around, you know, Thrivecart right here. Or I'm going to create a brand new spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to do, and add those. Uh, I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it Shirts and save that. And now you can see right there, that's the, that's the new spreadsheet that I've created. So you will have to create a brand new spreadsheet, of course, once you integrate it into Thrivecart. But let's say you have a spreadsheet from before with Thrivecart that you've made uh, you know, with Google Sheets. You'll be able to select that if you had other products that are shirts, for instance, um, or other products. You can actually you know, have that populate inside this dropdown. So it's going to select shirts. And then you can actually exclude different information uh, if you want to. But if you're fulfilling this, you probably want it all. But you can see you can exclude things like personal info if you wish shipping info or pricing info. We're just going to leave it all in there for this example. And you can also even run them in specific locations. It's totally up to you. Uh, we're not gonna do that for now, but we're just gonna save this. And then now you can see anytime someone actually purchases a shirt from us using that product, it's going to add all of that information. So it's gonna be their shipping data, their customer data, and any product data that they purchased so it'll actually show what product they purchased that's going to be added to this spreadsheet that was just created uh inside of thrivecart so i'm not going to show you that spreadsheet now because it's going to be blank <laughs> since uh, we're not selling that it's a test product but that's how you set it up and it'll start to populate once you have uh sales but just know that there's a whole ton of other ways you could use this so uh, we have some videos at Get Thrivecart that actually dig into how to use behavioral rules. So you might want to go to that video. Um, I'll, I'll try and link it below uh, so you can actually go check that out too. But that shows you how you can use behavioral rules. And you could do that with this. So let's say someone refunds uh, any of this product, any pricing variation. You can also add that to a new sheet. Maybe that's a different sheet that we want to add them to. Not the shirt sheet, but we'll... Uh, we'll actually add them to another one. So for this example, let's just say shirt refunds and hit save. And there we go. So now we have this new uh, shirt spreadsheet uh, for just folks that refund this. So we'll want to gather that data and use it for something. I'm not sure, but we're just using this for this example. And we can hit save. So you can see how you can have multiple... Uh, rules set up and then also multiple Google Sheets set up for this. And again, you could do this for all sorts of things. Abandoned carts, really cool. Payment declines, those are helpful. For an example, let's say you want to add anyone who's declined or abandoned the cart to a spreadsheet. You can follow up with those automatically with something like Active Campaign or an autoresponder. Or, or and, either one, you could actually have your customer service person, or maybe it's you, that follows up with people, uh, you know, once a week or every day, depending on your, uh, your, your flow of customers coming in. And maybe you want to personally reach out to these people and ask them if there's any kind of hang up, any objections or reasons why they didn't complete the order. Or if it's a you know payment decline, maybe you actually want to give them another option. And doing this, you know, all that information is going to be passed over to a Google Sheet that will give you all that information to uh, to essentially do the follow up. So there's a ton of different options you could do with these behavioral rules in Google Sheets, and it's really really cool. And it's nice to have you know a doc with the information from the products and efforts you're doing inside of Thrivecart. It's a great way for product fulfillment, follow-ups, and just having records of all this stuff. You know, it's kind of nice. I know a lot of people do stuff with spreadsheets, so it allows you to kind of get a lot more creative. So if you have any questions about that, just go to getthrivecart.com. We're always there answering questions. We have a little chat box that pops up. So we're there to help you. And if you haven't signed up for Thrivecart yet, definitely go grab it. It's going to be the best price with us. Uh, you know, if you go to getthrivecart.com, you also get a ton of bonuses that we've made specifically for you to get started quickly with Thrivecart, making money, making sales. So there's a lot of templates and tutorials on how to do that there. So go to getthrivecart.com. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.